the default education establishment response for more money for schools. We need schools. We do. It's, I know I agree 100%. But what you do, you have, you have it backwards. You have the cart before the horse. You have to have a healthy, robust economy to support the education establishment. You need to have the economy first. What you're doing, you're driving away people. You're driving away businesses. You have to have, when your taxes go up, business leaves. You see what's happening here in the state of Michigan. We have the highest, or among the highest per capita, spending on students on education in the country. And that doesn't keep people from leaving. You have it exactly backwards. You need to have a healthy, robust economy first, and then we will support you. We just can't afford what you're asking. Most of that stuff I see is frivolous. We you know, apparently just have a philosophical disagreement, and you think that it's backwards. I actually think that when schools do well, when we have great colleges and universities and great pre-K institutions, that a variety of other variables fall into place. And so it's absolutely true, and this is such a glib throwaway phrase, and I hate repeating it, but they say good schools cost money. It's absolutely true, but it's, good, it's, it's dollars coupled with strategic plans. And, um, you know, you obviously have the perspective that these things are frivolous. I think they're really key or fundamental. You know, we provided you with the information. You came to your conclusion. God bless you for that. And, you know, we just are going to have to philosophically disagree on this one.